Sea anemones are members of the phylum Cnidaria, related to true jellyfish. More specifically, sea anemones are classified under the class Anthozoa, meaning flower animal, along with corals, sea pens, and sea fans. Their bodies are cylindrical, with a single opening that serves as both an entrance for food and an exit for waste. Cnidarians can have two body forms, the medusa, the polyp, or an alternation of both. Sea anemones have the polyp body form, most attached to solid substrates with a pedal disc and their tentacles, armed with stinging cells called cnidocytes, wave above them in defense and predation. Attachment to the substrate is not necessarily permanent. While sea anemones tend to stay in one place, if conditions change to become unfavorable, they will relocate. Some anemones, such as this Pachycerianthus fimbriatus, do not attach at all but create a burrow in the sand with mucus. Sea anemones most commonly occupy shallow waters in intertidal and subtidal zones. Shallow water anemones are capable of capturing energy from the sun with help of symbiotic algae living in their tissue. These tiny algae share photosynthesized sugars with the anemone in exchange for a protected living space with exposure to sunlight. Anemones have some amazing adaptations that allow them to inhabit a strikingly broad range of habitats. Some of them can even spend hours above water, exposed to the baking sun, without drying out. They survive by huddling in damp crevices. At greater depths beyond the turbulent surface, a more common strategy is suspension feeding. These Metridium giganteum have large bushy tentacles to sift small particles from the water. They can grow very large and are common even in polluted waters. Sea anemones may be colonial or solitary. Species of solitary California sea anemone include Metridium giganteum and Urticina columbiana. However, the most common anemone species along California's subtidal zone is the aggregating anemone, Anthopleura elegantissima. This species of sea anemone reproduces by a process called budding, in which genetically identical clones of the polyp are created. These clones can also be created by fission, in which the anemone divides into two separate individuals. Elegantissima can be seen here in the process of fission. Over time, this creates a colony of aggregated individuals. Elegantissima also reproduces sexually once a year by expelling sperm and egg into open water to be fertilized. In addition to Elegantissima, California is home to several exotic species of sea anemone, including Metridium senile, Coronactis californica, the strawberry anemone, and Anthopleura xanthogramica, the giant green anemone. Sea anemones are not only diverse in appearance, but in feeding strategies and behavior. Photosynthesis by symbiotic algae is the primary source of nutrition for shallow water anemones, but an anemone is also capable of sustaining itself on the small invertebrates that are unfortunate enough to happen upon its stinging tentacles. Some species of fish, commonly called anemone fish, have evolved a protective layer of mucus that renders them immune to the sea anemone's sting. The anemone provides shelter from the fish's predators, and in exchange, the fish provides the anemone with food particles. As the fish moves over the anemone, the high-frequency fin strokes help oxygenate the anemone and may supply it with additional food in the form of plankton. Oftentimes, anemone fish remove parasites from their host by eating them, as they do not harm the fish. Another symbiotic benefit for the sea anemone is essential nutrient production in the form of anemone fish waste. Anemone fish are often territorial and do not hesitate to ward off intruders, even larger animals such as nosy cameramen. These flower animals can be found in every ocean and display a diverse range of feeding and reproductive strategies, body plans, and behaviors.